Alonso, Jorginho up first for Chelsea. Long stare at the ball from Jorginho. And Edison saves. Well, it was a long wait from Jorginho. Well, you could see Edison had done his homework. It's like a similar one, I think it was in the semi-final of the competition against Spurs. Waited till the goalkeeper went down. Edison stood tall. Waited till Jorginho made contact with the ball and he's got arms as big as he has. He's got an opportunity to make a save. Gundogan, who was successful from the spot in the quarter-final against Leicester. Successful here. Advantage, Manchester City. Terrific penalty. First of all, if you're sending a goalkeeper the wrong way, you've conned him in that sense, but also hit the side of the netting. Always difficult for a goalkeeper to save. Cesar Aspilicueta. No nonsense from the Spaniard. No stopping that. Terrific penalty. And look how much that means to the Chelsea captain today. Never easy taking a penalty after your teammates just missed it. It's crucial that you score that next penalty. And he never looked like he was faced. He never looked like he was going to miss. I don't think he could have got it further into the corner. Step forward, Sergio Aguero. Aretha Balaga trying some mind games there. Staring down at Aguero. Now back on his goal line. But a soft hand from Aretha Balaga couldn't keep it out. 2-1 City in the shootout. Did the injury have anything to do with that soft hand? People will ask the question for years to come. Red Sergio Aguero, well, got down there, got two hands on the ball, but somehow he just wriggled through them. Well, you'd be really disappointed, Aretha Balaga, who didn't save that. Penny for the thoughts of Sarri and Caballero right now. Two from two for Manchester City. Two from three for Chelsea via Emerson. Edison's unfortunate. He goes the right way. Full stretch, both hands on the ball, but it's the power from Edison that sees it get into the back of the goal. And a good penalty by the Chelsea left back. Leroy Sane next for Manchester City. Oh, it's an excellent save from Aretha Balaga. Moving some way forward towards redemption, the Spaniard. Wasn't the worst penalty in the world, that from Sane, but Aretha Balaga guessing right. He's had to do something in this penalty shootout, and he just has full stretch. Guesses right, strong hands this time, unlike the last penalty. As you said, it wasn't the worst penalty in the world by Leroy Sane. A terrific save by Kepa. Interesting to see Kepa Aretha Balaga going through some stretches there, almost as if he felt the injury that we saw towards the extra time in making that save to deny Sane. Three penalties each, twice each successful. So we're back on level terms in the shootout. David Luiz. in football Woodwork comes to City's aid via David Luiz 
I don't expect him to miss. He's so short when he runs up to take penalties. He does have a long run up. He does have a lot of steps in that build up, but his connection is always true. Sets it off a little bit too wide and doesn't quite hit the target. Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. Oh, real advantage here now for Guardiola and Manchester City. 3-2 they lead in the shootout. Four penalties each taken. Edin Hazard next for Chelsea, has to score. Hazard to level it up at 3-3. Oh! How cool is that? Talk about ice in the veins. Edin Hazard. He's taking liberties there. But Raheem Sterling has the chance to win the Carabao Cup for Manchester City. Chelsea have had their five penalties. This is City's fifth, and this is to win the trophy. Back to back, the Carabao Cup for Manchester City. Yes, but only just. Raheem Sterling. And Manchester City's run of success under Pep Guardiola continues. Well, those last two penalties we've just seen are absolutely fantastic. Hazard, you think he's just about kept his team in the penalty shootout, but then Raheem Sterling, talk about postage stamp. A lot of pressure on that young man's shoulders, and he's growing year on year. Don't come much better than that in high-pressure situations. And he has just handed his team the cup. Well, jubilant scenes for one club and disappointment for the other. You feel for Chelsea a little bit. They really took Manchester United all the way, but Sterling, the eventual hero, it went to penalties and Manchester City emerged successful 4-3 in the shootout.